we're Chris and Teresa, and we would love to guide you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill and online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and have renovated a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and sustainable agriculture are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things from farm to needle. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. Welcome to YouTube 237. Here we are outside. Yay! It is March something. It is March 13th. No, 12th. 12th. March 12th, and it's absolutely beautiful. Last I checked, it was 62 degrees here in Nome, North Dakota, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Compared yes. to last year, this... We had... I think we were making a we snowman. We couldn't get out here. I think there's so much snow you couldn't open this door. Oh, that is right. And we were making a snowman about this time. So, this is... So, we're out here enjoying. Oh, I smell... Somebody has a fire. <gasps> oh, it smells so good. We were good. Okay, we just got something we we might have to go and run and get this we just got these new candles in with these wood wicks but this I one i might go do that while she chatters on <laughs> talk about it's fiber big. 101 oh okay i will tell back. you about fiber 101 okay fiber 101 we do in conjunction with the nonprofit, which is awesome. And we had one of the facts teachers that came and brought her students from um, Bismarck. So they were about two hours away. It, it was amazing. They, they took videos. We did the tour of the mill. They learned how to needle felt. They learned how to wet felt. We did some felted soap. Uh, yeah, it was wonderful. And it's just a little taste of what's to come because I, I just informed both Kristen and Teresa that as soon as the barn that you see out back here is the animal education center and the animals are here on site I know from previous experience with my uh, when the mill was out, outside of Kindred there and I had the education heard there on site is how important and and what a draw that is to, to bring those students in because they love to come and see the animals and then they are surprised that they also love to know how yarn is made and how the textile industry takes it from there and that cashmere still comes from a goat <laughs> i mean it, it's the natural fibers are still are still um God still grows them on the, on the animals themselves. So so that's really cool. So I, I'm greatly looking forward to the animals being here and that and that um, that happening. So with that said, so that is that is super fun and that that we're doing. So you know, as far as the mission of the nonprofit, that's what it's about, and it's it's amazing to see these students come through and 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 be so excited about that so so cool cool okay here teresa has we have we got new candles in the store and this, this one, is a travel fire a travel fire made in minnesota yes and it's meant to be burned outside and it we says haven't right tried on it there. yet so no. we want to try it with you guys what does it say Use this lid to smother flame. Wow. Outdoor use only. Okay. Oh my I goodness. Know, can you see it? Can I see? I can't see it. Mm -hmm. We're um, light. No. Here. Well. Okay. And it smells like campfire. <laughs> wow. That is cool. I smell it. So do I. It does smell like campfire. And it's got the sound. It's cute. This is such the. I'm scared you're gonna. I mean, this is such a. <laughs> this is such a flame that you can do. <gasps> s'mores. On can it. you see it? Okay, I'm gonna have to adjust the camera. You keep talking. Okay. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. We have the sun, the beautiful sun shining in here. 
Okay, put it down. I have fire! <laughs> put it down and oh. I will adjust. Okay. <laughs> oh, is this cool? Oh, I'm going to have to buy one of these. Oh, okay, my so goodness. We're going to have to order more. This is really cool. This is? Oh, my goodness. You I thought can... it might be cool. <laughs> But I look at look, look at, at inside there. I mean, you can see all the. Oh, oh wow, this is cool. So much. I can see why they say oh, outdoor God. use only, but I would... yeah, because pretty soon we're not gonna be able to touch this. It'll be so hot. Oh, is that what happens? You think? So can you, can you see it if we move it this way? I think we need to do this. Well, no, I've moved it down. Don't you're gonna burn yours when we <laughs> This is so cool. <laughs> anyway, wax. we might we might order some more of these in, oh, in yes. and put we them have online. Them on mine. I only ordered four. This is a campfire scent. Which is totally appropriate for And then there was yeah. bare naked and I thought I didn't know what bare naked was. I thought it was like I don't know, bear scent. <laughs> uh, but that would be good. We don't uh, wanna know. So but this is good. No, this it, is really it, good. It turns out it might be scentless. Yeah, that's what that's what yeah. we came up with. But this so this is good. This is oh, the wind. Oh, this is really good, but it's not putting it out. I know it's cool. This is really cool. I've been wanting to try it since it came several days ago. See now I could just sit Beautiful. here and just be mesmerized by this because you see all that smoke like going in I between do. the I don't know if it's smoke or if it's... I was just curious how it worked. So it's just a pile of... Of like wood, wood wicks. Yeah. yeah. And, that are... and you can and it's crackling. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear me, but... And the scent is like campfire. They nailed it. Impressed. Impressed. Me too. We have these in the store. So if you are nearby and you want one, come get yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, we did use one. <laughs> Yeah. What? How much so, is this? What's uh, the, these are thirty six dollars. It's worth it. I don't know how fire. long it lasts, but it looks like it could last a while. Yeah, because it's um. Don't. You're not supposed to touch it. It says right on this. But <laughs> it's so cool. I mean, it's not getting hot. It's going to. You're what? Not... What makes you think that? <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Outdoor use only. Carefully read instructions on bottom of bonfire. Well. We can't read that. Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. So, this is neat. Neat, neat, neat. Oh, here we go. For outdoor use only, place your bonfire on a fire-safe surface, not glass. Do not place directly on furniture. Oops. Well, we're going to place it. Yeah. It's not going to Don't hot. touch it. It's not going to Use hot. a lighter or match to light the wick. Do not move the bonfire while burning. <laughs> <laughs> well then. The metal will be very hot. To extinguish, use the lid to smother the flame. Do not blow out flame. Do not use water to extinguish. Store in a cool, dry place out of sunlight. Reuse until one half inch of wax remains. It's got a ways to go. I bet this would last five, six hours. We'll see. More than that. But well, we won't be out anyway, five or six hours. No, we won't. Okay, so we talked about Fiber it. 101. And we talked about when the animals are here, it's, 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 it's going to get insane. Oh, because, you talked about this? Yeah. yeah. I did. Yeah. It's going to be very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Because we, uh, did you mention that during the bunny retreat, you brought them all out to the farm? Mm-hmm. No, I didn't, but mm -hmm, we did. Because that is part of the experience yeah. that we've wanted to provide since the beginning. Yeah. And those so. were just sheep. Can you imagine when they can, <gasps> I mean, <laughs> It's just sheep. sheep, but for them to see, you know, 14 different breeds of sheep and to say, okay, this is what you're working with, and this is what you're wet felting with, and this is, this would this make a exactly rug. This is exactly what they saw. This is, <laughs> but they didn't, I mean, they, we weren't oh. able to corral them into a, a stall, per se, so that they could see, you know, and touch them. And whatnot, which they will be able to do here. Mm -hmm. And they, we couldn't say, this is an alpaca, and this is a llama. See the difference? And we couldn't say, this is a whatever. It's, it's yeah. It, it brings everything full circle. The entire experience. Which was 
the, thought the plan the from beginning. the get-go. Yep. Right. Look at I, I, I want to video it. Can you move this paper? <laughs> I'm selling it. I'm selling it on the deck of the gnome Oh, house. look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's really cool. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, it's so cool. And then we have, I don't know if you, I hope you can hear this. We have the, the beautiful Fiber Education Animal Center behind us. And it's you can hear the pigeons need that work. are going to be evicted. <laughs> but the pigeons that are currently in there going, who doing all their cooing. What are you doing We're here? doing like a selfie with the fire. It's cute. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> okay. So anyway, if you want to talk a little more about the fiber 101, you shouldn't play with fire. Never. Never. What am I talking about? Do you want to talk about the fiber 101? Or the, I already talked about the bunny retreat. The bunny retreat. We talked about it a little bit last time mm -hmm. and our live. And you showed the, you I showed showed the, the fluffle. Bunny. No, what is it? It's a fluffle. The fluffle. The I don't fluffle. know if I believe that's a thing, but I like it. Because it's just way too cute. Yeah, a fluffle of bunnies. A fluffle of bunnies. It's they perfect. said, okay, somebody, we didn't know what, <laughs> what, uh. It seems a, too good to be true, really. Yeah. And, and then. A fluffle. It, and then somebody answered because we couldn't figure out what a group of rabbits were called and one was litter and she said fluffle or litter and well how could you not like fluffle so there right now there's a fluffle of bunnies there's on a the fluffle mantle of bunnies. yes in the school yep uh it was we like i said we talked about this uh during the live but it was a fun week we did monday through friday we mm -hmm. had several uh fly in and they came early and they stayed late yes <laughs> Which is pretty wonderful. cool. Uh, we made, uh, the goal was to make three different bunnies and then mm -hmm. to take what you learned from the previous bunny and, you know, try to perfect it on the next bunny. And we would talk about that in between. So we made a sitting bunny, a standing bunny, and a bunny holding a balloon. The bunny holding the balloon had, uh, it requires wire, <laughs> which is a little different than the. It's a little harder. Mm -hmm. And. But they all but, rocked it. The ones yeah, that got they it did. done, they did mm -hmm. a great job. There were some that, you know, there was beginners and there was people that had felt it before, people that had never felt it before. So we were at different stages and they were happy mm -hmm. just to make, you know, a couple and they have the knowledge to go home and make um, all of the others if they wish to do so. Mm -hmm. And so. they did purchase the materials to do so. Yeah. So I'm pretty confident they're. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're doing I mean, so. it's really, really fun to. Um, experience this that we built this for yes <laughs> it's it's so it's like, to be doing the thing that i love with other people that love it too mm -hmm. is and it's so it's good. so amazing it's so amazing for them to come down into the mill and say this is where it all happens and then to see whoa all the colors and all the choices they have mm -hmm. we just got to get the animals here and we really do it's it's so yeah. we need to fix up this barn behind us yep we need a little pen we'll have to start with a pen this candle thing is i'm kind of sold on this i love it yeah so if you were to come stay at the gnome schoolhouse <laughs> you could purchase this in the store and, and you could do exactly what we're doing sit out here and enjoy yeah we are we are planning a um fire pit yeah. You can experience the true fire pit. Which will be happening very soon. Very right soon. out back here. Mm -hmm. Very soon. I'm tired of us saying stuff and not following through. We're going to build it. Yeah. It's, have to it's happen. done. There's a lot that's going to happen this year. Folks. If we're building prepared. the fence. We're gonna, we'll do it. I've done this. The, the, I've done the, it. I know how to do it. What? <laughs> Pound a fence post in. Yeah, we can pound them in. Mm -hmm. and with I, the I don't like digging holes. No, that's why you pound them in with the bobcat. Oh, we're going to get the wood ones with the points on them. Yeah. Because we got a lot of metal ones. I can do that by hand. Yeah. We have a pounder. We can, we can do it. this. We're going to do this because we're done. We're done and messing then around. The fire pit, which has always been going to be back here, I think. 
Yeah. It needs to happen. Yeah. It's just. Uh, but until then. <laughs> we have these tabletop versions. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. So just recapping on the bunny retreat. Yeah. We're going to do it again next year. Yeah. It'll be in March. Mm-hmm. Uh, every uh, one of the retreat goers, they want to come back. Yeah. And, but they want to do, they've learned the bunny, thankfully. And they want to do, they're thinking birds. So there might be that too. I'm going to open it up to these guys first and mm-hmm. then um, allow others to to join as well. But I'm, They might sell it out. Right. So the, the bunny retreat I'm going to, I'm thinking of listing that soon just oh, to give you a chance because I've been asked so many times. Yeah. Uh, there will be a bunny retreat next March uh, and I will be listing it soon so that you can get. Yeah. get You know, especially if you're there. flying in, we've discovered that a lot of the. The plane tickets and whatnot are cheaper when you get them way in advance. Yeah. And I don't know if we mentioned, but we had, I, I think we did mention it on the live, but we had uh, Washington, Oregon, Wisconsin, Massachusetts, California. Wyoming. Wyoming. North Dakota. Minnesota. We didn't have any North Dakota, Minnesota. We did. We did? Yes. Oh, shame. Oh, yes, we did. Shame on me. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. It is kind of like a dream come true. It is a dream come true. We are going to pretty soon, unfortunately, leave our fire pit <laughs> and go in I know. and I might get and, a blankie and do some needle punching. Cause I dyed some yarn, so we're gonna we're gonna see how and it works. And I came up with a sheep, so yeah. it's like a sheep from our flock. Yeah. So how cool is that gonna be? Who is it? I'm trying to remember his name. Madagascar. Oh, cool! It's an African country. Yep. Awesome. And it is awesome. an a descendant of one of Luby's sheep, who oh started my. the whole thing. Uh, oh my! How like, appropriate is that? It's from her sheep Rebecca, which we loved. She was That's so awesome. cute. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. So, so we're gonna try that with what we have and and then tweak it's it from there. So there's gonna be a lot of experimenting there because we don't. We gotta get it right. And we don't have a lot of uh, punch needle experience, so we have to. We made one project each, and, and we were sold. So, yeah, yeah. So now we've got the yarn done. <laughs> that, that was okay. I wish it offered over. warmth. Really, you know, a little bit. Well, it does a little bit. Yeah, good. Because you know, the now the sun. We're down. losing the sun, so we're heading in. So it's getting chillier. Yeah. Okay, but first we want to say. Our question for next week because it's so much fun. Oh no! But questions for this week was how far is the airport? Oh yes, how far is the airport? Mm-hmm. Takes about an hour to get you from the airport. Yeah, you can. Rent and that a vehicle, is either but we do pick you up. You okay, want. now one thing I experienced it. I have never dropped or picked somebody up from the Jamestown Airport. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> I mean, it's so, it's so neat. You can, like, park in front. There isn't a cop out there saying, you have to move. You can't stay here. And the parking is free. And, yeah. I mean, it, it's really cool. I'd never even been there before. And I've had, like, my cousin told me that just to fly out of here is a lot cheaper from Jamestown. Yeah. So I'm thinking yeah. it's got to be. So check that out. If you're yeah, so check that out. Here. Both either Jamestown or Fargo. Um, these folks that flew from Wyoming said that it was half the price to fly into wow. Jamestown. So <laughs> So anyway, so so bear that in mind when you're going to fly in here. Yes. And our next week's question is This is very So, if you were watching last week's yes. YouTube, which was mm-hmm. live because we just didn't have time to get it done mm-hmm. and edited. It was busy. Busy, During busy. the Bear Creek Bunny Week. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, so how many bunnies were made at the Bear Creek Felding Retreat? Dun, dun, dun. By all participants. Yes. Yourself included. Okay. Mm-hmm. Huh. What's that number? How many participants? Let's give them a little help. Uh, help. How many so there, participants well, were there? <laughs> yeah. Twelve. There, there was were twelve, 12 okay. um, participants. Mm-hmm. I was the thirteenth. Yeah. And not ones that I'd previously made, but what I had made in during the retreat. Yeah. 
Yep. Correct. The wind is better. It is. So we're, we're losing our sun. We're heading in. And we're also going to say, God bless you all. Thank you for supporting us, for watching. And we hope that every single one of you, we can meet in person someday. Because every one of these retreats, classes, we meet somebody new that has said, I've watched you from the beginning. Or I've been watching you for yeah. so long. And it's, it's, it's an honor. An actual honor. So it is very much an honor. Mm -hmm. so That's all, folks.